Is this Manassas? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure where we are, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Maybe south of Manassas? We're just south of Manassas, I'm pretty sure, after leaving the I-95 rest stop uh, where we slept last night after investigating Bunny Man Bridge and uh, residential investigation that we had up there in Chantilly, Virginia. And we're driving down the road in search of his sheets when suddenly we saw the W with the wings, which can only mean one thing, wings to go. Right here in wherever we are, Virginia, there's wings to go. And I'm, I'm walking in there and I'm thinking, well, we've done so many Paranormal Pit Stops videos at wings to go. We'll take some pictures. It's a different location. It'll be cool. But I walk in and look at this. There's a bar. This is like a Buffalo Wild Wings to go. This place is huge. And not only is this place huge, the menu is huge. Look at this menu. This thing is huge. Buffalo shrimp, seafood platter, boneless wings, kickoffs. And look at the little logo up there. How cool is that? He's holding a football helmet that says wins to go on it. <laughs> And unfortunately, before she collected the menu, I didn't get a chance to show you the back. There was a backside to that huge menu that we just popped up, if I edited the video correctly. Uh, you just saw the menu. And there's a backside to it that has subs, sandwiches, all kinds of stuff. Huge menu. This is like the mother of all wings to go. And I'm so excited to be here right now. So I think, uh, you know, I'm going to try, of course, I just can't get off of that suicide sauce. So I'm going to try those suicide wings again. And uh, the only thing I can do is compare it to the other locations that we've been to in Fredericksburg and the several throughout Delaware. I am extremely impressed by this Wings to Go. Um, it is, like Jeff said, very big Wings to Go. They have like at least 12 TVs right here in this section. Of course, all of them are playing um, sports, you know. I, I might prefer something like, you know, National Geographic or something, but um, but nonetheless, it's it's a very nice location. Lots of lots of tables, lots of seating. They even have this little room. I don't know if you can look back over my shoulder. It's this little like private room where they have a TV and a sofa, like a sectional like a sofa, lounge. like a little lounge. A wing to go lounge. Yeah, and I'm wondering if you can maybe like you know rent out that room for you and your friends or something, or for if VAPI anybody can meetings. sit there. Right, the yeah. API meeting. That's yes. right. So that would be good. Yeah, definitely a very cool place. And they have tables outside. I'm not sure if you can right. see out there. Um, they have outdoor seating, yep. which is pretty cool. It is very cool. And speaking of TVs, there's one right up there. And this wings to go gives carrots and celery as an appetizer. Mm -hmm. How genius is that? We've been to places that give the celery along with the meal. Because you know celery often comes with chicken wings, but never the carrots. The carrots is a different thing. And um, of course I love carrots, so I don't have any problem with that. I think it's kind of cool that, you know, while you're sitting here waiting to eat, you actually get, you know, the celery and carrot before your meal comes. Very nice touch.
This is pretty cool. They have a selection of hot sauce, including their own honey barbecue wins to go hot sauce. Looks like some good stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so in the back corner of the wings to go by the men's restroom, they have a claw machine. And I am going to demonstrate how to win at one of these things because I pretty much mastered it. Okay? So, first thing you got to do is get the hook centered right over what you're going to pick up. And uh, I kind of like that purple cat there. And it's very, it's a very strategic, strategic, it's, it's sensitive, it's a sensitive joystick, you got to get it just right, and here we go. Close. Let's try again for the big purple cat. Oh, oh no. But nonetheless, uh, there is some hot stuff in this claw machine here at Wings to Go. Do I get another turn? Nope. Nope. That's it. Good game. So ladies and gentlemen, the food has arrived. And I gotta say, first and foremost, look at these steak fries. I know. That's those like look a quarter amazing. of a potato right there. Right. And those I see you've so got cool. the garlic parmesan wings. Yeah, this is what I usually get. Um, I have to say though, right off that everything looks like it was cooked really well. Um, the, di the difference here is that the food arrived at our table much faster than it has at any other wings to go. Um, a couple of the wings to go we had, we actually had to wait quite a while to get our food. This was out hardly before we were even done playing the claw machine. So I'm um, very impressed with that. Very impressed. Right. Far different from the tradition of the Delaware wings to go. Right. Where right. You get to wait. And wait. And wait. Do some video, which is which is cool. It's well worth the wait. Yeah, it see. absolutely is. Yes, but it's so, nice to have it fast too. You're gonna go ahead and sample one of those. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think I want to sample one of the fries. Oh first. yeah, yeah. It's got some kind of seasoning on there. Let's it does. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe a seasoned salt or an old bay. Man, that fry looks good. It is. It's probably pretty hot too. Kill it. It's still moving. It's still moving. Oh, that's good. Okay, so I have never had the steak fries here at Wings to Go. I don't think I've been to one that has steak fries. But uh, at first glance, they're a good temperature, hot enough to just, you know, uh, heat up your fingers a little bit if you hold it too long. Mm. That is good. What is that seasoning? I don't know. I think it's seasoned salt. Could be. That's what I think. But, um,. Really good. Like you can taste the potato in this steak fry. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of them just taste like you know skinny little fries. This is a hearty fry right here. Mm. All right. So you're tearing into those wings there. I am. Yeah. And once again, this looks like uh, it was cooked really well. Sauce. Yes. Nice pool of sauce at the bottom of the basket when you get it. Yep. So these are actually pretty good. Uh, not quite as good as one of the other wings to go that we had recently, but still very good. Um, it's got, like I said, the pool of sauce down at the bottom, and you can kind of dip the chicken down inside there to get more sauce on it. Um, but the, the, the meat is cooked perfectly. Um, could stand to be just a hair hotter than it actually is. But um, otherwise, very good flavor and um, nice little chunk of meat. Okay. Um, at first glance, this is a very hearty wing. Um, that's one thing that does vary from wings to go to wings to go. I've been to some that have the big juicy wing, wings, some that have the smaller wings, and both are good for their own reasons uh, in their own way. So I'm excited to taste this. And once again, there's Linda said a pool of sauce at the bottom. And uh, mm. Mm. 
so I have to say uh, these wings were really, really good. Uh, as always, I've never been disappointed at Wings to Go. The only thing I would do is add more sauce. Some of the other Wings to Go's had more sauce on them. Very, very good wing. Uh, it was very juicy. Um, you know, there was some sauce in the bottom. I was able to roll in there and get a little bit extra sauce. It's not like a lot of sauce. But one thing that's cool, if I could point this out, down here, okay, we have our vegetables, right? And our starches and our meats. We basically have all the food groups right here at Wings to Go. Uh, so overall, a very, very healthy lunch, I would say. So we just came out of the Wings to Go, and I have to say it was uh, an amazing experience. The atmosphere was awesome. Uh, this place was steadily filling up while we were here. And um, it looks like they do a really good business. So we were very impressed with the food. It was uh, good portions. The food was tasty. Um, I feel like my wings could have stood to have a little more sauce, maybe like Jeff's as well. And um, maybe a little more garlic instead of just so parmesan -y. But uh, there were big, nice, juicy chunks of meat, well cooked. It was perfect. So what can I say, an awesome experience. We found out from the waitress that we're actually in Stafford, Virginia. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what else I can say other than here is another reason to come to Stafford, Virginia, if you have a reason to come in the first place. Um, there is outdoor seating, which is really cool. And they do have a wing challenge here. 20 homicide wings in 10 minutes. Paranormal Pit Stops is gonna take a trip up here just to try that challenge. Can't wait. I think there's someone trying to get out of that trunk. Yeah, I hear the banging. Do you hear that? I do. Is someone banging on that trunk? It sounds like it. Should we call the police? Either that or get a pry bar. A pry bar? Yeah. Perhaps, because it, it sounds like someone is desperately trying, trying to get, get out, out of that trunk. Right, right. It stopped. Stopped. Maybe. It did. Maybe they maybe fucked they suffocated. Died. Yeah. Yeah.